20 minutes to start a road trip. <laughs> We're going to be taking a road trip down the East Coast along Route 1. So we start in the top of Maine and we drive all the way down to the bottom of Florida. We're driving to the Route 1, Mile 1, Memorial Mile Marker. That's a lot of miles in one sentence. We just pulled up, which means that the start of our road trip is officially about to begin. And I have to put my shoes on. Yes, our van is already a mess. So we got the monument behind me, but real quick, we just want to give you a rundown of the van. We added a couple things to the outside of the van. So we have rain guards over the window, lets us get some ventilation even if it's rainy. Like Heather was saying, her dad and brother helped us install the solar. So we're able to run the van, our fridge, phone chargers, things like that. And then back here, we have our max air fan. Oh my God, that is such a mess as I shove everything out of the way. So clearly we are nowhere close to being done. I guess we're not gonna be one of those glamorous van life couples. So this is what we're working with for the trip. We're not really gonna get into it. So we'll do a full van tour once it's complete. But now we're gonna actually start our road trip. We are standing here at America's First Mile on US Route 1. We are about to walk up to the monument. I need and a We are currently standing in front of America's First Mile US Route 1 mile marker memorial monument so we're about to walk up and officially start our first road trip in appa this is our first stop So that's where we're going. We're actually in this small town in Maine called Fort Kent. And this America's First Mile marker is actually really unassuming. The main street is just over here on the left and there's a parking lot and then this really neat monument space. So that's the sign that we're behind it right now. That's Appa and that's the unassuming main street that Mike just mentioned. Over to this side is like a border. There's a bridge that looks like it goes over to Canada. Obviously that's all closed down right now because of COVID, but that's kind of wild. I mean, it makes sense if we're at the top of, of the States. That's pretty cool. We just did so many <laughs> awkward selfies. Oh, I accidentally clicked record. Hit the record button. Keep pressing the record button. And it officially begins. So we're already off of Route 1. We saw this park called Four Corners Park and it looked cool. We wanted to check it out. And now we're trying to figure out how to get back to that. All right, we found it again. Scott, and we're still getting used to all the clunking in the back. So I think we definitely need to reorganize everything. Oh, look at that giant moose. The knucklehead. <laughs> Please do not touch me. I need that sign. Four Corners of the United States. So we're gonna have to go to all four of them, Mike. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it had started maybe as like a biker culture thing. And you can register if you're making an attempt at usaforcorners.org. Do you think they'd let us do it in our van? I don't know. The four official checkpoints according to this are, are Blaine, Washington, San Ysidro, California, Key West, Florida, and oh, Madawaska, Maine. We'll we're hit two on the trip. Done yeah. On our road trip. We're gonna be we're gonna be cruising through this. The most northeastern town of the United States. Oh, that's close. This angle, it kind of looks like our van has antlers. Hey, then it would be an Appa. Yeah, bye news. Went four corners park, went down, three to go. That's back to being route one, this road, so we didn't stray too far. Safety first, look both ways. Gonna chase down every dream we've had. Live every moment like it's gonna be. Anybody who's ever watched Wrong Turn will know why I'm freaking out about following this truck and Mike doesn't. Cool town though. All right, seriously though, don't get too close. They're everywhere. So we were driving down Route 1 and saw a sign for a scenic overlook and this is the scene that we're overlooking.
we found another cool spot off the side of the road. This is the St. Croix Island International Historic Site. So we're gonna learn a little bit about what's going on here. What I've learned from this board is that St. Croix Island is important to both the United States and Canada as one of the earliest European settlements. This is kind of one of the cool things and one of the reasons we decided to come down Route 1 as opposed to just doing a trip because we could have done the interstate and just jumped off at things that we thought were cool. But taking Route 1, you kind of just stumble upon stuff. Learn something you never knew before. <laughs> yeah, definitely a cool offshoot and we're gonna keep our eye out for things like this as we continue down the road. We're going to be making a small detour off of Route 1 to go check out the oldest diner in Maine. I think there's some really great views of the ocean. It's only a 10 minute detour, so it's not that bad. There's a fire in my heart, I feel the heat of falling stars, I keep running down around the road. Couldn't tell you where it starts, gotta find a place. Oh, this is a cute little town. <laughs> this is a narrow fit. This is cute though, look how cute it is. Cute Main Street. Oh, another New Yorker. We are in the seaside town of Eastport, Maine. We stopped off really to see the Waco Diner, which is the oldest diner in Maine. They have an awesome Main Street. I think we'll walk down that. And right now we're gonna go check out the pier. There's some sculpture of a giant fisherman. So it's just past the fisherman. Ta-da! So that's the diner and it is very much closed, but still super cute. And so is the town. Um, just some information on Main Street. So it's a historic district. This was a fairly important or fairly active port area. A lot of like captain's residential housing, a neat history to an area that we would just look at as a cute Main Street. Everything is closed, so it's a sleepy little seaside town, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. We're switching drivers again and getting back on Route 1. We actually didn't really have to jump off of Route 1 for this stop. We're at the Bad Little Falls Park. The waterfalls that we're looking at are part of the Machias River. Small town, but get a look at this. this place is just like oh, a little stop of a little waterfall I was picturing like a little creek but this is like doesn't understand though is that it's the road there's not a whole lot you can do it's You're not a pothole for them it's not a pothole you have hole. to be aiming for them it's to not hit a them this it's hard. not a pothole when the entire road is a bump we need to bolt things in better back there duct tape it i don't know but every yeah you slow down for that that's pothole. called evasive driving no it's because i turned on the camera that you slowed no, down it's for evasive that pothole. driving and i've been doing this the whole time lies but what Absolute we're doing lies. what we're doing now is trying to get back on Left. the track because i took a wrong turn we are going to Jesper Beach. Yeah, it's a beach off of Route 1. It's about 10 minutes off of it, but it takes you directly to the coast. So we thought it'd be cool to see. Yeah, thank you for proving me right. Uh, are so you supposed to be navigating? Th that's what the navigation's I'm for. I'm Donnie drives the car, you're Nikki navigates. No, I'm sit here and yell at you. It's all been waiting for you. Never gonna give it up. Mm -hmm. 
The entire beach is made of super smooth rock. The way that the water hits them and then streamlines down makes them really soothing sound. I'm going to sit there and listen to that. Meanwhile, Mike is gonna go brave the Atlantic waters. Yep, definitely cold. <laughs> it feels good, now. I'm glad to have gone in. First Atlantic Ocean of the trip in the book. trespass but we'll go take oh, a look. Oh they have a blueberry museum it says. Wow that is a one giant blueberry. Look how many bunks are just taped on the roof rack, the solar panel, the fan, yeah. the front of the car. <laughs> Definitely needs a good wash but look at this place. This would have been a cool place to stop and just yeah. check out. How can you pass it? Like, I love cheesy tourist traps, and this definitely looks like one, so I would have definitely enjoyed it next That's time. Cool. We're trying to figure out the best way to do the activities we want to do in the Acadia National Park. So what we'll probably do is camp at Acadia, hike the Sunrise Trail so we can see the, the sunrise there, drive the loop, and then hike Beehive and move on from there. Right now, we're just trying to find a campsite. So I found the popular campground in Acadia. This was listed as as one of the few sites that allowed overnight stays that's close to Acadia. They're yeah. everywhere. We are the smallest one here. <laughs> Those people are camped out, they got chairs and everything. Um, I kind of want to park near the light, so I'm going to park on this one. That, that one's pretty small. No, we're still tiny. It's really cool that so many camper vans are here. So this Walmart is about 35 minutes from the trailhead that we're going to be hiking up tomorrow. So I'm just over here getting the headlamps ready and we have a very early morning start, which you'll all see very soon. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm living my best life.